Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Primal Liquid, and over the past few days, uh, one of the biggest questions that, you know, I'm just getting asked nearly 24-7 for the past few days is, what jobs am I using and why? Or what jobs, uh, well, what job goes good with this class? And so, in this video, I'm basically just going to tell you guys uh, what jobs I'm using and why I'm using them. Although before I actually get started on that, I just want to say you can use any job combination you want and you will still get through the game just fine. There's, I mean, you know, aside from like the end of trial mode, there's not really anything that will pose a challenge to any combination, you know? So just use what you really want to use. But as I say, this is what I'm personally using. Okay, so for Vaughn, we have the Bushi and Shikari or the Samurai and the Hunter. And the reason for that is really straightforward. So basically from his Shikari side, we can get the Yagyu Dark Blade, whereas on his Bushi side, uh, when I find it, uh, it's gonna be somewhere here, isn't it? Uh, basically with the Bushi side, we can actually get the Black Robes there, Black Robes Mystic Armor 10. And what the Black Robes does is it increases dark damage by 50%, which the Yagyu Blade from the Shikari side is a dark elemental weapon. Now, the reason this combination is so good is mainly for Yizamat. I mean, this combination will rip him a new one. It's like, there's just hands down best way to defeat Yizamat. Because the amount of damage this combination will do is insane, because Yizamat is actually weak to darkness element. Okay. So, with that out of the way for fun, let's move on to uh, Balfir. So, for Balfir, I chose him as my Time Battle Mage and my Foe Breaker for a few different reasons. So, for the Time Battle Mage side, uh, that's going to be all my buffs like uh, Hastiger uh, and also a few debuffs like Sloger, uh, things like that. Uh, time Battle Mage gets a decent amount of uh, HP, but not a whole lot. But it does give me a wide access to uh, quite a few things, like uh, Reflect Gear, Swiftness, you know, things like that. On the Foe Breaker side, however, this gives me more debuffs for the enemy. This gives me access to all four uh, Breaker abilities, which uh, can lower the uh, can lower the monsters' uh, attack, defense, magic, you know, things like that. And it also gives me access to heavy armor for the extra defense basically which will basically just help me uh, stay alive a little longer so that's always a benefit for a mage which is normally a little squishy so yeah my balfi is basically going to be a buffer and a debuffer which is pretty good all around so my front is a red mage and an archer and this is straight up for one purpose only and that is on the archer side we want the burning bow and on the red battle mage side, we want Ardor. The reason for this is Ardor is the strongest hitting spell in the game and it's fire elemental. The burning bow with fiery arrows actually increases uh, fire damage by 50%, which means we're going to give Ardor an extra 50%. Combine that with uh, red mage's default uh, oil spell, which is there. So oil. Burning Bow and Ardor is actually the strongest hitting attack in the game and this combination will just wreak havoc on nearly anything, especially if you throw in that the mob is weak to fire damage to begin with. So that's it for Thrawn. Now moving on to Bosch, Bosch is my Knight and Samurai. The reason for this is Knight actually gives access to uh, a few good healing spells like Kyoruga, uh, is it Kyoruga or is it Kyoruga? Yeah. Uh, Ashona, Cleanse, Curiga, Regain. I think you can have access to Curiga as well. Yeah, Curiga, Bravery, Faith. So, Bosch is going to have uh, a few good buffs and some pretty strong healing. The only downside is Knight doesn't really have much in terms of uh, magic power. That's where Bushi comes in. Uh, so, Bushi is the Samurai and that has quite a few uh, magic laws. Meaning you can actually turn uh, well, you can turn a knight into a semi-decent healer uh, with all this magic lore. Another benefit is the knight has access to Excalibur. Uh, that 
So the knight has access to Excalibur, which is a pretty strong weapon, and it's wholly elemental. Whereas on the other side of things, the Bushi has access to the White Robes Mystic Armor 11. White Robes works just like the Black Robes. The only difference is White Robes increases wholly elemental damage by 50%. And this will basically turn my Bosch into the ultimate undead killer. Given how many things late game are actually weak to wholly element, uh, the Knight and Bushi is one of the best combinations. You've got a strong healer, you've got an extremely high HP tank, you've got a lot of battle laws, you've got katanas uh, because they get damage based on strength and magic so that's even more damage and then to top it all off you've got the white rope and the excalibur combination i mean this combination right here is one that is essentially god to you and bosh is going to be in my party well from now to the end of trial mode to when i get my platinum basically okay moving on to ash ash is uh, basically my healer and machinist. Now, the reason I chose White Mage is because, well, you know, I mean, you basically need a healer. Well, I mean, you don't really need need a healer, but it does make life so much simpler since it gives you access to all the white magic uh, and a few of the green magics as well. Now, the White Mage size is pretty self-explanatory, but why did I go Machinist? Uh, well, Machinist actually has access to quite a lot of HP, which is obviously very beneficial to the White Mage because the White Mage doesn't really get a lot. Aside from that, the Machinist uses guns, and guns deal a fixed amount of damage regardless of what your stat is. So, a White Mage is typically going to be quite weak in the attacking department, so having a fixed damage amount with the Machinist is extremely beneficial. Not only that, the Machinist also gives access to some time, uh, time magic, like Haste Gear, Reflect Gear, uh, you know, things like that. And you can actually get... Uh, the best weapon uh, for the Machinist, the well, Mituna, or Mifuna it's called in uh, the Zodiac Age, you can get that quite early. I mean, I've just completed uh, Wraithwall, and I can actually uh, get this not too far away now. So that's why I went Machinist and Y Mage. And finally, we move on to Penalo with the Monk and the Black Mage combo. Now... I initially started Pinello off as a monk simply due to the high HP it starts off with. That makes the uh, Knot of Rust farming for the Burning Bow much easier. And it does have quite decent damage early on as well. Uh, on the other side, the Black Mage doesn't really get any amazing spells uh, near the start of the game. You know, you have to get a ways through before the Black Mage starts really becoming worthwhile. Now, the monk uh, does actually get some white magic. Namely, it gets holy. The reason this is important is because the Black Mage has really high magic stats, however, it doesn't really have anything that can really take advantage of holy damage. So that's why, uh, sorry, it doesn't really have anything that can take uh, advantage of holy elemental weaknesses. That's why if we stick Monk with it, we can get access to holy and the best staff weapon, uh, when I find it. Uh, there, the Staff of the Maggie actually boosts holy damage by 50% as well, meaning we've got a black mage that can cast all the black magic plus holy with 50% extra holy damage as well. And like I said earlier, with the amount of enemies that are actually weak to the holy element towards the end of the game, this is going to be another really strong combination. Not to mention we've got a black mage with three swiftness nodes from the monk, a load of HP from the monk, and we've got some pretty decent armor as well. So this is going to be uh, one of the strongest hitting combinations in the game, but you know, I mean, again, as I said at the start of this video, guys, you can choose whatever combination you want. You know, this is just the combination I've gone for, and this is the combination that I've planned out just to make my life easier in uh, trial mode, you know, the uh, last couple of hunts, things like that. This set of jobs is literally just to make my life getting the Platinum easier. It is in no way required for any of the optional stuff. It's just one of the better combination sets. Now, if you're asking what party I normally use, uh, at the moment I'm sticking with uh, the Red Battle Mage and Archer, the Knight and the Bushi, and the White Mage and Machinist. Uh, this party does change around every now and again, uh, depending on what weapons I get. Uh, for example, originally I wasn't actually going to use Bosch, uh, but then I found out about the uh, little 
trial mode change and I was able to get the Bloodsword A or the Kakata for the night uh, pretty early on. So that's why I tweaked that a little and made Bosch my go-to. Normally at this point of the game I would actually have Balfir because he does get the Fumeral quite early which is a pretty strong uh, bomb weapon and you get the poison bombs with it which, you know, I mean you can poison enemies really easily with that. So I was originally going to, oh, excuse me, I was originally going to go with him. But as I say, trial mode changed my plans entirely. So I had to uh, switch around on the fly for that. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's going to be it for this video. I hope it helped. And I really hope it helped you decide what jobs you want to do. And hopefully it answered a few questions you might have regarding why I'm going what job, uh, what my job choices are for, and things like that. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to stick around for more Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age content, then hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn notifications on. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. See ya!